All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and we're flying the P-400, the Bell Air Cobra. Now, what is interesting, there's a couple of things, and I think they're just discrepancies or oversights about this aircraft, which we'll talk about, but we're on the new map, Iron Range. Looks great. It's kind of got that, you know, Arizona Grand Canyon type feeling with some nice snow caps to it. So I like how a lot of the new maps are kind of adding stuff that seems a little different, at least, you know, in look. And it's got a, a lot of, ter you know, pretty nice, you know, changes in terrain to make things good for arcade mode when you are dogfighting and trying to turn. But so let's talk about the P-400. The first of which, first topic I guess would be that it's an American aircraft and while it was designed and produced by the Americans, it was an export aircraft. Um, and I know that the United Kingdom ordered almost 400 of these things, but they wanted some things that were a little different. They wanted some modifications. The first of which was they wanted the 20 millimeter, which you'll see in the nose. And they wanted a Hispano right there. And then they wanted the six machine guns that were basically the six machine guns were 30 cals or 7.62 millimeters. They wanted those changed to six 303 inch or 7.7 millimeter machine guns. So, but when you look at this gun, we have four 762s and two 12.7s. And then I believe we have the Hispano cannon in the nose. So the machine guns aren't, I, I think, are a little different than what I've read and understand the P400 to basically include. So that being said, this is an Air Cobra, and the British weren't too big fans of it. We got some armored cars, medium tanks, even some AAA. AAA in the background. Look at all these little lines. Huh? A lot of a lot of soft stuff that's kind of protecting these uh, heavy bombing points. And we got these convoys moving in, so we're gonna press M real quick, get an idea of what's going on, how we're flying over. Looks like one of two or three armored convoys here. And you got this nice river looking thing with looks like some dried up riverbeds kind of leading to it. And um, pretty cool looking map. It's definitely an arcade one. So we got his elevator. Now, one thing that the British didn't like about it was obviously the, uh, the climb rate on this plane isn't the best, which is a problem when you take it out in the historical battles. Because, you know, if you go against the Germans, you're going to get outclimbed and generally outflown. But it is definitely a fun plane when playing arcade. Because the American version has the 37mm cannon. The British didn't want that, you know. They have their venerable 20mm Hispano, which they wanted to fly. And it looks like we have a heavy bombing point nestled in between this canyon here. Very scenic. Pretty cool looking. Wouldn't you love to drive a tank up there? <laughs> Soon. So we have some pillboxes in the back. Looks like some other armored vehicles, maybe? See a couple AAA. But... So the machine guns are off, the cannon is correct, and I think that while it was an American plane, and um, the Americans did use some, and I believe they stationed them in Australia, and then there was some in and around <clears throat> the both the American and British forces after Pearl Harbor had taken place, the majority of these were export aircraft to the British. So, I think it's cool the Americans have it, because who doesn't love their air cobras, especially in arcade mode, but it would be pretty cool to see the British have it, because as of now, you pretty much have your Hurricanes, Spitfires, and Typhoons, but it'd be nice to have a night, you know, an air cobra, pretty much, especially the one that had the... Say hi to the other one. Probably, if we had the 37, we could have popped them both so 
it feels like, you know, most Air Cobras do. A little sluggish on the turns and whatnot. Not the best climb rate, but the firepower is why you fly the Air Cobra. And this one is no different. Six machine guns, albeit I don't think they're historically accurate. I already said it. I would like to see them changed. But I guess if you had... But th then again, it's an American one, so this would be... Aside from the Hispano, that's what you would have. Would be the four 7.62s and two 50 cals. Basically, four 30s and two 50s. As opposed to what the British would want in six 7.7 millimeter machine guns. So let's take a nice little look at the uh, terrain here. One of those defensive trenches the pillbox and then three gun stations. Ubiquitous to most um, War Thunder maps. Here we have a little artillery. And I do have my uh, 50 cal and my 20 set to ground attack, which is why, um, you know, I didn't make as quick work of those biplanes as I would have normally. See, these are considerations you're going to have to account for. Once tanks become available, are you going to be going for air targets or ground targets? And the ammunitions that you select will make you a little less effective against, you know, what you're not equipped for. Which seems to make sense. Risk versus reward and just kind of planning it out. Which will make squad playing pretty cool. But this plane's fun. Really love to see it as the British. I know I've said it. But I, I imagine it would be coming to them at some point. But a lot of people have been asking, you know, why is this in Amer like why is it in the American tree? Well the Americans did use it and they did produce it, so I mean that makes sense. But why it came to the Americans prior to the British, I'm not entirely sure. But it would be an easy change to give it into the British lineup. Just switch the machine guns for six 7.7s. Seven you already got your Hispano right there on that blue tip nose. Pretty cool paint job with the uh, blue tip on the rudder and on the nose. And a pretty cool map in the Iron Range. Look at that. Imagine turn fighting in these little crags and canyons. So we got some tanks over here. We'll take a look at them. Well, are they something different? Are they something new? Probably not. But you know me, I gotta investigate, check them out. Looks like Panzer fours or Panzer threes. Another little village here. It's kind of treetop flying here through the canyon. Anyway, my name is Baron. I thank you all for watching, and if you want to see more of my previous coverage on patch 1.37, check the video description below. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe, pull the trigger on that like button, and then we only got, I think patch 1.37 is coming very soon. The uh, dev notes are saying this is the final test. So you know what that means. After it's done testing, we get to see it. But at what point? Your guess is as good as mine, I would guess soon, <laughs> as ambiguous a term as that is. And closed beta tank test is on the horizon. Who got their invites and who wants one? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and I'm flying the Japanese again. This time we're looking at the new tier 4s, using the new tier system. Um, I know I called them Oscars in my last video, uh, but they're actually Franks. Kai-84 Franks, which are Japanese Army fighters. We've got the Kai-84 Hei, Kai-84 Otsu, and A6M5 Otsu. Pardon my pronunciation. So, we've seen A6M5s before, 